Okay everyone, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can mine Ethereum on Windows. Alright, we're gonna use the pool ethermine.org and we're gonna use the miner and be miner. And for the wallet for Ethereum, I'm gonna recommend my uh, Ledger Nano X, but you can use any other wallet of your choice. Alright, so all you have to do is just go to ethermine.org. After that, we're just gonna go and open up a new browser. We're gonna go to Google. We're gonna search for NB Miner GitHub. Click on releases. And we're gonna use this one, NB Miner V39.7. All right. So this is also good for LHR cards. We're gonna go down to win.zip. Click on this one. And now we need to unpack this zip file. So we're gonna open this in folder. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip, just Google 7-zip and install it. After that, just go to extract and be minor. I'm gonna go and drag and be minor to the desktop, like so. We're gonna open up NB Miner. We're gonna locate uh, this one, start underscore ETH. We're gonna right click, we're gonna click on edit. So now we need to add some information. So we're gonna go to ethermine.org. We're gonna go and choose this one ETH and go and click on start mining. Now we're going to choose a server, depending on where you are in the world. So in my case, I'm in Europe. You're going to choose the one that are the closest to you. I'm going to go back to the file. I'm going to change it right here. Like so. And for Europe, I'm going to choose uh, this uh, stratum port. If you are in Asia, you can use this one or you can try this one, okay? So in my case, I'm gonna use 4444, like so. After that, we need to add a wallet address, okay? If you don't have a wallet address, you can use either a hot wallet, which are online, or a hardware wallet, which is offline. All right, so with a hot wallet, you don't own the key because uh, the provider of the wallet owns the key. But if you use a hardware wallet like uh, this one, Ledger Nano X, you own the key and you can store your cryptocurrency offline. Okay, it's a more secure way. So, in my case, I'm using Ledger Nano X. You find the link in the description if you want to buy this yourself. You can start with a hot wallet and after that you can order this one and just transfer the funds to this uh, hardware wallet instead. And also disclaimer that this one is an affiliate link that means I will get a small commission if you buy through my link. But uh, this will also support my channel to make more of these videos. Alright, so just uh, paste your wallet address right here. After that we can name your rig. So I'm gonna name this one Pluto, like so. That's it, we're gonna exit this file and save it. Now we're gonna open up uh, MSI Afterburner. If you don't have that one, you can just Google it. Search for MSI Afterburner. Go into this one, MSI Afterburner. Just click right here and download it and install it, okay? Open up MSI Afterburner. And before you start the miner, I recommend to lower the power limit to about 65-70% so you don't overheat your card while you're testing the miner, okay? So just uh, click right here, add maybe 65% and just click on check mark. Do this on all your cards. If you have this set, 
and if you have uh, two of uh, the same card you only have to change it on one card because it will apply to all the same GPUs if you uncheck this one you will only apply it to each card one at a time okay so let's change the power limit to 65% click on check mark now we're gonna start the miner yes double click on start underscore ETH and this will start up the miner and for every miner we need to allow access and now we can see that we have uh, two GPUs right here and the miner has started to mine we can see that we have this information here we can see uh, the hash rate after a while and we can see accepted shares, rejected shares, uh, power consumption, uh, C-temp, fan speed and we can also see power efficiency okay so now we can see some hash rates and because I'm uh, recording uh, we get uh, lower hash rates but now we can see uh, power consumption we can see C-temp, fan speed and uh, power efficiency right here so everything works so all you have to do now if you want to increase your hash rate is just go to MSI uh, afterburner and also disclaimer you overclock your GPUs at your own risk just so you know and apply uh, different uh, overclock settings for your own card I will leave a link in the description for some uh, overclocking settings for different GPUs but uh, this is for you to experiment with uh, to find the correct uh, OCs to get the maximum hash rate so this is for my 1660 Ti so just uh, choose the card you just click right here and add the OC like so and do the same thing right here and for power limit and for the fan speed you can do auto or uncheck this one and add your fixed amount of fan speed depending on how hot your card is so for this card I'm just gonna use auto and after that just go and click on check mark okay so to check your earnings on uh, ethermine.org you just go and take your wallet address like this copy it go to ethermine.org go to this one minor address and paste it right here and hit enter and here you can see the information uh, that you need so you have workers active you have unpaid balance you can do manual payout when you reach 0 0.005 ETH and you can check uh, how much you are estimated to earn so you can use ETH or USD daily weekly monthly okay and here you see the information reported this is what's reported in your rig and uh, this wallet address is just uh, the default I get uh, for the MB miner so this is not my own okay okay everyone so this is how you can mine ethereum using the mining pool ethermine.org we're using the miner MB miner and also if you'd like to join our discord server if you need some help you find the link in the description okay everyone so have an awesome day take care and bye